Hi everyone, how are you? Good morning, good evening, good night and also happy wedding for everyone I have three weddings around three I hope that they don't don't um, don't get married again so many times in a few months uh, but I would really love to go back to the quarantine in Egypt <laughs> um, never thought that I would say that this is what we have and we have to expect for people to be happy and so on so it's 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 fine i'm changing room every day um so this is anyways good it keeps me traveling so let's start for today um today is the root chakra in the mind week of the Libra month see so today the issue that we are going to discuss is related with the good and the bad so this is a very complicated issue because as the am said today in the text um, this is something very personal and each one of us has a different perspective so uh, the reason why it's so complicated and so personal is because good and bad are something that are two things that are related with moral and moral is something that is related with the perspective from where I am standing myself so um, to understand moral we have to understand from where does the word comes from so morality comes from the latin word modis that um that comes uh that comes from the concept of uh living in one place okay to to uh moral moral means uh the concept of inhabiting in a specific spot in a moment that's the concept we in spanish have some words to describe that when we say we live in we can say also we um, we uh, are um, um, moradores which is to live in a region specifically so um, so um, <coughs> so moral comes from the idea of a person that is standing up in one point in one place and doesn't change that place because is where that person lives and the concept um, the concept came um, transform itself into the idea that um, the way in which you live in that place is also constant and exactly the same so basically that people that um, beholds a moral is the people that uh, says in my place these are the rules this is how I live these are the laws of my place so um, everything that I do in my life is related with those uh, stru structures okay so it's moral that has uh, are the people that beholds a specific way of thinking or doing stuff that is constantly the same and repeating so basically the opposite of this would be to be unmoral and immoral would be that person that breaks the law that breaks the idea of how to keep doing the things constantly okay it, it breaks the pattern easily <laughs> it breaks the pattern of uh, uh of keep doing exactly the same thing 
and you start to follow other rules to move to the tradition thank you the tradition of uh, uh of this um of these patterns and uh you are doing exactly the opposite of what your culture what you're doing uh of what your um in, uh, surroundings are doing and um and also the other um the other way of seeing this is to be amoral okay amoral would be someone that doesn't um that doesn't take any law that doesn't create any law that it's living the day by day changing everything okay um so um so it doesn't have any specific uh, values it is just adapting any values from any culture anytime without any need okay so now we understand what is moral would be uh, we could understand that each family, each house, which is the place where they live, um, or they inhabit, each place has its own moral, so its own perception of what is good and what is bad. <clears throat> so this would mean, would mean that for each family, whatever we can say is good or bad, for each family, the differences between the good and bad will be kind of different maybe for some more good or more bad but different kind of levels of good and bad when you take many families like a village a whole population you put you you, you could be you could agree in between each one of them what kind of moral will, will be shared in a in a place in a in a village according to the level, the the, 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 the the comparison of the level of each family of what they mean, what, what it means for them, moral, good and bad. So this is why in different regions, in different countries, in different cultures, we can find different, um, different attitudes or different ideas from one same aspect. So basically from this, also many countries write its constitution okay because from those from that constitution um is how it is written according to the values that most of the citizens are shared in between each other so this is why um the our constitutions our way of being in a country are based in the morality of the values that we had in a specific moment. Today we can see also that these values, this moral um, for some countries are exactly the same even when, even when um, the population has changed already. So um, the, 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 um, the way of thinking, the way of uh, relating with the with environment of people is changing through time so sometimes people starts to evolve faster than the system does because the system keeps the same moral from the past so this is the moment when the population starts to ask for the changes of the system hmm? because the constitutions the basics uh, the fundaments of the constitution of morals of morality from a from a country are not now the same than the moment they were created there is so the question would be why this uh, morality is based in something so structural and the reason why is because the morality is uh, structured because of the common wealth or the common good okay so what is common good so basically the common good would be um would be um the idea of um every one of the citizens um uh, to live in harmony one between the other so they feel good and also to feel safe in a society 
So basically, what the common good is doing uh, in the Constitution uh, is try to make the citizens feel um, feel safe living in a society. Hmm? So <clears throat> basically, to make feel good the society is to make them feel to make them feel secure, safe. Hmm? And the reason why we do this, we create this concept, this idea, is because the concept of good uh, comes in, in the Latin words come from bonus. Um, bo bonus and donus means uh, uh, that person that is always looking for an enemy to create uh, the feeling of, of safe. E why is the concept of looking for enemies? Because from the very beginning of our species, our biology holds the information that, that in order to feel quiet and safe, first, we needed to see all the dangers from the outside. Because uh, in the past times, now we, we don't see it like this, but in the past times, everything from the outside could be a potential killer. So everything could kill me. So the idea of being good, feeling fine, or the, the idea of something that is good, is precisely that that helps me be safe from the killers. <laughs> so this is basically that. We have created the concept of the good from the concept of the bad. So this is why everything that is bad in the outside, in the world, is the thing, are the things that creates the parameter to measure the good things of the world. So we wouldn't be able to understand the good without the bad, the evil, um, because, um, um, yeah, we wouldn't be able to understand the, the, the good without the evil, because what I explained uh, already of uh, the good looking for the enemy. So basically, think about this. At the very moment when you put yourself in the side of good ones, you are in that moment saying someone that is a bad person. When I naturally say I am a light worker, I am naturally accepting that there are dark workers. So when I say I am a light warrior, I am without a doubt that there are dark warriors. So from the natural perspective of thinking that I am the good one, I am accepting that there are bad ones in the outside. What is the concept of, of bad? Bad um, in, in English is the concept that um, is a concept that comes from badal, ba balad, balad, that means hermaphrodite, that means something that is wrong, that is not natural, okay, um, something that is not specifically natural. But we are going to talk for a moment um, of the Latin origin of and the Spanish, not the Spanish, the, the, all the Latin languages that um, used to say mal, okay, mal. The good, the bad is mal in the Latin uh, languages. That comes from the word apple. Hmm? Apple. Uh, also in English, we have the, the words uh, malicious, maleficent, to use that word mal, okay. So, check this, that when, when you find in the Latin words, the, the, the words mal, mel, male, um, all those um, 
mel, uh, all those words comes from the um, from the word apple in Latin, and they all mean kind of mistake, um, uh, sin, uh, something horrible, uh, all bad things. So the concept of the apple, okay, as the bad things, from where it comes from, from the tree of knowledge, okay, the apple of the knowledge, which is the fruit, the fruit of wisdom. And in every history of um, not only the Adam and Eve, uh, that they were, is the first scene and, and and they were exiled from the Eden because of the apple and <clears throat> all of things. Um, not only that apple, but also the golden apple, the discord, how do you say it in English? Apple. Well, um, all the, the, the apple stories in history were basically uh, end up in tragedy. Um, uh, so, so the reason why is this is because the apple represents the doubt, represents the question, the wisdom, the wisdom, the knowledge is through the doubt. And to go against the doubt is to go against, no, sorry, and to go uh, in order to get wisdom and <clears throat> to doubt about things is precisely to go against faith. Hmm? The con concept of bad, uh, the concept of, of uh, the apple, means to change the point of view, to change the perception of what I'm looking to. After this, through the religion, through the Christianity, <coughs> through all Europe and then the world, look how it worked. So they said that God was the good, so God is a good thing. So whatever is against God is a bad thing. So if you make questions and you say, I don't know if God is what you say, so you are evil because you are against God and God is good. You see how it worked? So through thousands of years, we have been built as beings, believing that the good is up there with God, something untouchable, and that the bad things are the sins from this world. So, for sure, you have done yourself this question: Why bad people have is are so successful in life, and why good people is not successful in life? So basically, <clears throat> the reason why the good people have been um, uh, haven't been having success in life. It's because we have a program in our heads that says that in order to be people, we have to be there dreaming in an utopia of the heaven, willing to go to the stars, living in a magical world. And the bad people has better results because they know how to handle matter. They don't care about that. They care about this. This is their world. They know how to handle it. It's another programming. So this is why the good people, until they are not responsible of the matter and they start to work in the matter and handle the matter, we are not going to be able to um, to, to have successful in this world, okay? There is a lot of talk about this now, but I don't want the hours run, so I want to uh, just focus. So all this that I have spoken right now is a concept 
of how we have been looking into the world uh, in this this times in this reality but the universe doesn't have any idea about this the universe doesn't understand this because remember the morality is the concept of being stuck in one spot but the universe is everywhere doesn't have one point of view is everywhere so the universe doesn't have any moral the universe doesn't have morality so this is why when we ask why the universe is allowing this to happen it's because the universe doesn't understand what is happening basically so basically when we say why the universe allows this to happen the universe just see things happening so the, the, the universe would say um, what happened happens and that's it. what happens happens and, and that's it so what we have to do we are part of the of the universe so we ha are the ones that if we are watching this we have to do something in order for it to change we used to to project in the universe the idea of God, of a God, a good willing God, someone that is trying to, to help us and that is there for anything that happens to us that is evil. But the universe is not that. The universe gives tools constantly. If we don't know how to use these tools, so it's our problem, not the universe's. So basically, that the basically when we project God a good willing God in the universe um, it is like thinking uh, good is God is good and bad people so if they are gonna be punished in the hell so the hell works for God encouraging you to do bad things not punishing you so um so that's uh, that's a problem in the in the story and um this is why we are projecting into in the universe um something that is not really the universe this is why for the universe good and bad doesn't exist it's just an idea created for hu by humans in order to feel safe and to have like a kind of a convention of what would make us feel safer but it's not something from the universe in fact it's not even a law in the laws of the universe so I am not saying with this that good and bad doesn't exist what I am just saying is that good and bad are only only different visions and a convention between humans to feel safer in life and to live in harmony hmm? so good and bad are not laws that came from heaven to earth they are simply a convention of different ideas that helps that help helps us live in harmony okay through in a morality in a specific time and a specific place hmm? so this is why we have to be very flexible in our morality but we also need to have a morality hmm? So, for some people, this morality is dictaminated by God. For other people, this morality is dictaminated by society. And for other people, morality is dictaminated by conscious, consciousness. Hmm? 
what we should try to do is to guide ourselves by the morality of the consciousness. Hmm? So remember that what we consider uh, today bad things uh, for in the past they were good things or normal okay um, and the same things will happen with the future so we cannot attach ourselves to one morality because it will depend and change according to the time and the place where you find yourself hmm? so basically I hope you could understand a little bit uh, that I wanted to say is that sometimes I um, I see some questions that um, I will try to say this more pedagogically there are a lot of questions that you may do or that other people does uh, that I don't answer them because most of them um, with a tiny little uh, moment of thoughts, of thinking, you will find yourself the answer. So, I am not here to answer all the questions. I am here to speak about an issue that maybe would help you as a basement, as basis, to create your own questions and to create your own answers. So, um, try to answer your own questions uh, and to use what I explain to create the idea. Don't expect for, from me all the answers because I don't have them. I have the ideas or the tips so you could find yourself new answers and new questions. Okay, so wanted to say that <clears throat> because I don't want you to feel that I am not to answer your questions um, well yes I am not willing to answer your questions <laughs> that's that's the truth <laughs> um, no but it's not because I don't want it uh, it's because I love you to also find the answers by yourself let's begin The vibration for today is no. The statement for today is I am destiny of all fruits. Sit properly, sit comfortable. Begin with yawning, stretching the body, caressing the body. I let all the weight fall down in only in my
get your breath and feel air come inside your body towards the lungs, heart, blood, organs and muscles. I start to perceive as if empty, feeling the air moving around like wind. I perceive the air around me, the wind in the outside. Connect with the wind within, making me feel light as a feather use my imagination to design a beautiful sizing around me feeling myself the edge of a mountain, looking down to the valley below. Take a deep breath and how the air is going through all your body, making you feel in your axis very still and firm. I feel, I perceive the air from the feet going up to the legs, hip, belly, chest, hands and arms, shoulders, neck, head and hair. Take a deep breath and put your hands with your palms facing the sun, feeling its light. I perceive the light of the sun falling down and crossing my entire body. I perceive that ray going through the crown, third eye, throat, heart, plexus, sacrum, and from there, irradiating all its light in the root chakra. Take a deep breath. I perceive from root chakra two rays of light heading to the face, to the palms of my hands. So hard that they even feel like physical. From these two rays of light, I feel feel how my hand starts to be heavy with light and recognize in both of them I am the concept of my reality. In one hand 
the good in the other hand, the bad. Everything that I perceive good and bad is part of myself, part of the way in which I conceive the world. Both of them are opposite and each other. Both of them are constructions of my morality and now. and begin to bring both of them to your heart. I recognize in the center that both of them are one. And I set the intention to build a morality that is flexible, capable to allow me to evolve. I start to vibrate the sound as I become aware that I am creating a new morality for myself, a new fruit. for a new life. A new fruit in the tree of wisdom. Destiny of all fruits. I am destiny of all fruits. So softly, I start to bring all this consciousness through my body by caressing, massaging, stretching, and yawning. As always, the task for today is to make a, an artistical expression of what is good and bad according to my morality. So, mm, sorry for the connection, but 
there's nothing can do. Um, it's Egypt. There's no the Wi-Fi anywhere. So mm, I do what I can. So as always, so for the knees and um, at the same time. So rest a lot. Thank you. Bye.